<laughs> I think we found the culprit right here. There's just a little scrap piece of wire that accidentally got left in there when being made or something, huh? There it went. Well, I'm not sure if you saw that, but uh, let's give this another try without all that obstruction inside the throttle connector. All right, let's see if we're we're back online here. Woohoo! Got power here. All right, you wheels. Let's see it. All right, let's try this. So these little screws right here are holding this uh, female end in. And I'm wondering if they were bulging out just enough to not allow the connector for the hand controller to go all the way in. So let's see if this makes a difference here. All right, give me a second. I'll be right back. All right, Gary found the culprit. It's basically this har harness. So we're gonna dig deeper on this and just see if there's a little wire loose somewhere or what's going on. But yeah, we've been swapping out between the systems. So Gary's pretty sure on that one. Okay, so where were we? Uh, basically, we needed this guy right here, the connector for the hand controller, which of course goes to the, the brains, the, the DNO10, and then uh, these two wires that jump over and control this board where you can put your horns and lights, etc. can go into this side. Um, you'll see shortly that I have this really cheap little <laughs> <laughs> buzzer that was in one of Elon's uh, stem kits for electronics <laughs> anyway we got the switch right here on off I got it all powered up so let's check it out So we got a couple notches lined up for the cable to come out for the hand controller. We'll have to do something about making this or fastening this so this doesn't get pulled or yanked on by me or Elin or in case we have a uncoupling <laughs> and I'm still holding on to the controller or something like that and this pulls out. All right, so next video will be on the tracks for you. Otherwise, real quickly, got it dressed up a little bit with some uh, cabinetry hardware <laughs> for the rails. We got our ditch lights in, all need to be wired up, so that'll be something else in the future. We have our cool new logo, uh, Burlington Northern ripoff uh, with the E and E. We're excited about that. Got the side rails for the most part. And then uh, up front, we have everything up front here too. I'm still missing some numbers. We plan on doing number nine. We'll see what we do with numbers. Great, we are on track again and happy and relaxed. All right, so we'll fire it up. Um, this seems inconvenient. The switch is right on the other side right here, but that's actually the plan. So when kids are monkeying around, they see a little switch, they don't just go and flick it on and off. I put it kind of on the back side. So here we go, fire in the hole. All right, like last time we have some pretty lights. But even better, we have movement. We have some motion here. <laughs> Forward, reverse. Mm. 
remember that uh, buzzer I told you about? Here it is. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna cringe. You. Well, other things we'll have to work on soon. Elon. There you go. Watch. Watch the wheels. <laughs> That'd scare you. <laughs> your turn. You don't want you don't wanna drive? You gonna use your car right now? Look at Elon.